Spring's Happenings for the Arkansas Herald. We're here with Samuel Brett Williams, who is having a play uh, performed at um, the Low Key Arts through Red Door Studios. And they have played all last weekend, and now this is your last weekend um, for the play, right? Yeah, uh, we play Thursday through Sunday, uh, 7 p.m., Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then uh, 2 p.m. matinee on Sunday. So May 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Yes, we end on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Oh, bring your mothers out. I've heard this place great. Uh, so no, definitely bring your mothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's adult content, but it's going to be great. <laughs> so tell me, how did you come to the idea of writing this play? Um, I was in New York. It was probably about eight years ago. So I've been in New York area probably about ten years, and I went to graduate school for playwriting. And this was one of the first plays that I wrote. Um, but then I kind of put it aside because it was weird and kind of violent and had to do with my family a little bit. Um, so I worked on other things after that. Um, and eventually a theater company commissioned me to write a play about brothers and uh, I just gave them this play and I, like I had just written it. I was like, here you go. Um, and then I was like, you know, I went off and they said they wanted to do it. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I, I rewrote it a little bit more and we got it to a place we were happy with and it premiered off-Broadway in New York in 2011. Uh, and then we worked on it a little bit more and then it was in LA for about three months last year. Um, and it was a great experience out there. Um, everything kind of clicked into place. Um, and then from Arkansas, it's going to be in New York again in July off Broadway at uh, 59 East 59 Studios. And then it's going to be in Scotland for a month uh, as part of the uh, Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August. Right on. So basically, the play has been a success. I mean, you're, you're yeah. You never know. Yeah, it's it's the different plays kind of have different lives. So like for the most part, you you tend to write it and then send it out and. You know, it gets done relatively quickly, especially in regards to like film, mm -hmm. um, where you wait forever. Um, but this play definitely took a little while to get started. Now it's kind of picked up a little bit of steam. So yeah, do fun. you do you think that maybe um, you might have um, an option of maybe making this into a film? Do you there was there was a little bit of talk. I had another film that was optioned um, that seems like that's a lot closer to being made called The Revival. That was off Broadway in um, two thousand twelve, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some actors attached to that, and there's some money there, so that's a little bit closer. But there's definitely a screenplay for Derby Day um, down the line, but um, I'm still kind of having fun with it as a play right now. All right, cool. Um, so uh, tell me, give us a quick short synopsis about what this, this play is about. Um, so it's three brothers. Uh, they were raised by their uh, alcoholic father who uh, played professional football for a few years. Um, after he retired, everything kind of went downhill. And um, he has just passed away. Their mother passed away previously. Um, and they've all come to town to go to the racetrack where they used to go with their father. They've gotten um, a luxury box to enjoy the day and uh, basically bury their dad. Um, and as the day goes longer, um, it, it gets a lot uglier between them and they start revealing secrets that you know none of them kind of knew. And um, it, it just gets worse and worse and worse until the end. It's like Thanksgiving, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a happy ending? Um, well, you, you know, it's, it's depending upon how you define happy ending, Is it like I guess. Happy ending? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like there's there's definitely I think hope at the end. Um, there, there's hope for these guys to maybe one day actually be uh, a family again. Um, and I guess that's all you could really wish for. Cool. And you said this was loosely based on your dad. Yeah. Well, well my dad and his two brothers used to go to the track all the time. And when I was a little kid, I'd see my daddy come into town and take me to the track. Um, my parents were estranged. And uh, that's really the only kind of context I had for them, kind of at the track, up there doing all sorts of things. Um, so it, it is, in a loose way, very much based on them and basically that environment. It, it, it's really as much about Oaklawn as it is about them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. All right, so listen, come check this play out May 7th, Thursday, uh, May 8th, Friday, May 9th, Saturday, and then a Sunday matinee at 7 p.m. Um, Thursday through Saturday, right? Yes. And then 2 o'clock, and go to Red Door Studios on Facebook if you want to get some tickets or some more information. Um, and we're going to be giving away two tickets this week um, for a show over the weekend. So uh, check it out. Go see the play and um, enjoy. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is great. Great. Thanks. Awesome.